What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing all right. It's going to be the first video of our Greece lesson. Um, please bear with me. It's my first time ever doing video recordings. I'll probably hate how I look. I think I'll look ugly, uh, which I probably do. Um, but by now, you should know about Greece and how the mountains and the seas separated the Greeks from one another. All right, forming city-states. Each city-state or polis was like an independent country within Greece. People had a strong alliance or a tie to their city-state. It would be like a Floridian saying, I'm a Floridian instead of I'm an American. All right, these city-states uh, grew independently of Greece. They were all Greek. But if I was in Sparta, I would say I'm a Spartan. Or if I was from Athens, I would say I'm an Athenian. Okay, or if I was from Olympus or Olympia, I was Olympus, all right, or Olympian. Now, this was a bad thing because when it came to war, um, they weren't able to form and to uh, work with one another in order to defeat the other countries that were invading uh, invading them, especially countries like Persia, uh, who was a ginormous empire and uh, one that gave Greece problems their entire uh, their entire time as an ancient civilization. Um, so each city state. Um, was known as a polis, all right? And polis is a word that we got from politics, all right? Politics um, plays an important role in Greece, and um, it was a, it's a very important aspect of Greek culture. Um, it allowed politics to form independently in each city-state. So Sparta had an oligarchy, all right, which means that few people uh, would have the power over all. OK, whereas in Athens, uh, they had a democracy, which is what the United States adopted um, uh, their government from was from the government of the uh, the Athenians in Athens. Uh, they had a democracy where the people voted. Now, this was a good thing and a bad thing. Imagine uh, back then having um, every able man that was a citizen had a right to vote um, when it came to every issue, like going to war, um, having um, jobs, or uh, any issue that would come up, every man would have to vote. Now this would take time. Now think about it when it would when it would be about war. Would uh, would you want to go to war? Well, what if the country was right next to you and they were already on you, and then you still had to ask everybody, hey, do you want to go to war or do you want to to have a, a treaty? This would, this would pose a problem when issues were needed to be solved very quickly. Um, but it ultimately became what the United States adopted and what we use today, where everybody can vote for who they want or what they want as president and laws. Um, now, uh, this ultimately is the main reason why Greek city-states would uh, go to war with one another. And we're going to learn in our next lesson, which I'm not going to get to now, but when we talk about the difference between Sparta and Athens and why they rivaled one another is because of their governments and they didn't like each other because of the way they handled their governments. Um, so uh, the polis is the main political unit of Greece. Now, every polis was set up the same in each city-state. Now, what would that would be? It would be an Acropolis, which is in the very center of the Greek city-state. And what this was is at the very top, it had a fort. And, I, and in the fort, uh, they had a Greek god. All right. And in Athens, it was, um, it was Athena. Okay. And in other city-states, they would have their uh, Greek gods represented at the, hill, at the top of the hill. Now, what this was used for, the Acropolis, was... In times of war, the women and children that weren't, you know, battling uh, would go to the Acropolis for safety. And then ultimately, uh, the warriors or the, the Roman soldiers, I'm sorry, not Roman soldiers, the Greek soldiers would uh, protect them at the top of the hill. Obviously, if 
the soldiers were to uh, fall, then the women and children would eventually be slaughtered, which did occur, uh, especially if it was the Spartans that were uh, attacking you. Um, outside the Acropolis was the um, Agora. Now, the Agora played a huge role in the development of these city-states. Now, what an Agora is like is, is like a marketplace. All right, and uh, in the marketplace, people would they would gather, <coughs> they would talk, they would talk about political issues, they would talk about um, things that were going wrong and that they needed to fix. Um, it was think of it like um, the Palm Beach outlets, the outdoor mall. Okay, it was like that where people could go and they could buy their groceries, they can get their clothing. It was like city place, okay? And they would go and they would, everybody, every man would go there and he would talk politics and they would have their uh, their speeches, all right? And they would they would get up on, a, on top of a, on top of a, um, maybe like a monument where they would be able to be higher than everybody else. And they would speak politically and they would tell everybody what they need, that they thought needed to be done. Um, Outside the Agora was the city and the neighborhoods, and uh, this is where people lived, and if they lived around the Agora. Outside of the Agora, or I'm sorry, outside of the, uh, the cities and the neighborhoods were the farmers, were the farmland. Now we learned, you should learn now by uh, your worksheet, that um, there wasn't much farmland. And... The reason there wasn't much farmland is because most of Greece was mountains and rocky terrain. So they didn't have a lot of farmland. So the very little farmland that they had, um, they had to use wisely and make sure that they were able to use it all year round and not destroy it. Uh, this ultimately would be the reason that most Greek people, Spartans, Athenians, Olympians alike, would have to go elsewhere to find food and to trade with other countries and they would bring it back to the homeland okay um so that is your mini lesson on why the polis is super important and how greek city-states formed independently of one another if you have any questions please email me or comment um in the help section of our google classroom or you can Google Hangout me, uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, you guys should be completing your, uh, I think it was 10 questions. Um, and, and please send that to me in Google Classroom. Try not to send that to me in an email. Uh, I will have your next lesson in the next couple of days. Uh, please make sure you are checking in daily on the Google Classroom. Attendance will be taken every day. Now I haven't figured out and we haven't figured out how we're going to do that just yet, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a daily bell ringer uh, where you guys will have to answer the bell ringer and you answer the bell ringer, that's your attendance and that just helps me know that you were in the class on that day. Uh, please make sure you're checking in daily. If you have any questions, you can always email me. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys are all doing okay. Uh, happy and healthy. And I miss you guys. I hope I, I wish I could have seen you, uh, you know, within the last couple of days. I hope we can get back in class soon. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your day.